In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down a very simple concept that I think can be very, very powerful in Madden NFL 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been a part of my YouTube channel before, my YouTube channel focuses on Madden 21 tips and tricks, different things that you can apply to your game that can help make you a better Madden player. And so if you're interested in becoming a better Madden player, I upload four videos a day here on YouTube that are designed to help. And so I want to encourage you right now to go ahead and click that subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. All right, guys, we're going to jump in here. I want to talk specifically about a concept that is good every single year in Madden. It doesn't matter what the defense does, honestly. And uh, we're going to specifically talk about it as it applies uh, from like a nickel, uh, a nickel 35 odd. And so we're going to cover um, how to beat cover two man, how to beat uh, cover four, how to beat Tampa two, and also how to beat uh, cover three cloud. Okay, so nickel 35 odd is kind of a hidden gem formation this year. Um, and we're going to talk specifically about how do you beat cover two man or how you know, and, and then we're going to work through the coverages um, from the, that point. So the concept is honestly very simple. Um, and I like to run it from five wide, like this gun empty base would be a great example of it. And I like to run this concept from spread formations because it allows me to really take advantage of some of the things that the defense is going to do. But you can also run it from um, compression sets as well. It doesn't really matter what formation they're running. What matters is how you run this. And the play is curl flats. Now, I feel like people don't really talk about this play uh, or talk about why it's effective. But we're going to talk about it a little bit today. And with this specific uh, route here to Mercedes Lewis, I think this might be one of the most underrated routes in the entire game. Um, now, it is easy to take away with your user, but it's not. It's a very unexpected key route, pivotal route. These little snag routes this year, if you lowball these, and of course I start out with a pick, if you lowball those right when they come back to the ball, they're unbumpable routes, meaning the defense can't press. Okay, So they're not going to be able to get a press animation on uh, Mercedes Lewis. So he's going to be able to come right there, and you can oftentimes, you know, we're two for two on the picks, um, you can oftentimes just low ball that uh, against man to man. I'll show you here, low ball. As long as we don't doink it off of our off of our linemen, um, we're, with gunslinger with pass the elite, one thing is you know you can you can kind of run run yourself into a little bit of trouble. Now I would recommend with this specific route combination we're going to talk about having a gunslinger or a pass the elite type of quarterback. Um, and for whatever reason, Aaron Rodgers is riding the struggle bus or completing this route. But this route is is effective. Now if you want to, you can turn him into a slant route. And you'll see there, I mean, it, it beats man-to-man -man easily. Most of the time, they're going to use her a slant. But when you run a snag, they're not going to use her. They're actually going to let you complete this. And you can see, um, as long as we can get a good pass lead on this, this is actually a very, very good route. Um, you'll see here. But but uh, we're going we're gonna to jump over to the curl, curl flat concept specifically right now. But basically, curl routes this year, um, in my opinion, are really good, especially from wide receivers that are on the line of scrimmage. So you see Devontae Adams. When he's on the line of scrimmage, it's actually going to make him much, much more effective. He's going to get a lot more winning animations. But all you're going to do is you're going to low ball, and it's really, really important that you hear me. You're going to pass lead this to the inside. As long as you pass lead it to the inside, most of the time this is going to be just fine. You're going to secure catch it. Now with your um, one of the things that you'll find, they're really not going to be able to get underneath the curl routes this year. What they're going to be able to do is they're going to be able to get outside of them. So if I try to pass lead, uh, let me show you what's going to happen. If I try to pass lead Marquez Valdez Scantling to the outside, you're going to see that that Jair Alexander has a play on the ball. He can get to it. But if I pass lead him low into the inside, then only my receiver can catch this ball, as you can see right there. Now, what I, one thing I do want you to understand about curl routes, especially as they pertain to man-to-man -to -man coverage, is you want to be clicking onto the receiver, um, holding left trigger, and then coming back to the ball. Basically, you want to bring your receiver back to the ball. If you do that alone, you are going to really, really reap some benefits from this. Um, these routes are very, very underrated. But you see here, if I come back, don't hit possession catch as soon as, as, soon as he throws the ball. You want to come back and trigger kind of a little, um, just a little like him coming back to the ball makes such a big difference. Um, it's going to shield this from being intercepted by acrobat corners and things like that. Um, just bring them back to the ball. And that's really going to help a lot, honestly. Um, you know, that's, that's one little thing, one little tweak um, to me. But when you throw curl routes, just click on. 
and make sure you're bringing your receiver back to the ball. Um, as soon as you click on to the receiver, just hold down um, to bring him back, and you'll see here, he's, see how he kind of basket catches it? That's kind of what we're looking for. So uh, what about zone coverage? Well, zone coverage, depending on the zone drop of the zone, you're either going to hit the flat route or the curl route, okay? So most of the time, you're going to hit the flat route. As you can see here, um, you're, you're going to be able to hit these flat routes fairly consistently. And honestly, what you have to do, and, and this is really, really important to make this play go, um, you just have to understand when the flat routes are going to actually jump. You see right there, um, this is these are just standard curl to flat routes and so sometimes what the defense needs is they need the curl route to kind of happen before they're going to actually um, before they're actually going to break on it so essentially what that looks like is like from a cover three for example um, you might have to wait a second or so um, to complete this you see here if I snap throw it you see it doesn't really you see how they kind of you know take this away so but if I uh, wait just a little bit longer those curl those little flat routes see right here he's going to go to the curl and you can pass lead them upfield and possession catch them for a good six to seven to eight yards okay what this also allows is if the defense tries to blitz you this is a great concept to run against pressure because if they blitz you from zone um, whichever side they blitz you from that's where you're throwing the ball I mean you get it out quick and you're going very very simple read but what I like the most about these curl routes is that they kind of sit on the sideline uh, fairly well. You see how they kind of curl up? You can pass with, with, with the pass lead elite ability, you can pass lead these routes up to about you know three to five yards. So see how he kind of goes up? If I just pass lead him upfield, he's going to get a rack catch, and we're going to be able to go. So this is one little, one little thing that can make these routes really, really worth running. Now, um, if they're in, let's say they're in Tampa too, right? So they're playing cloud flats on the outside. Well, you'll see here, I can get this ball out pretty quickly to Jones. It's going to make an instant decision whether or not he's going to go to the curl route or he's going to go to the flat route. Cover two is probably going to do the best job against these. But what you'll see here, pass lead up the when you pass lead these flat routes upfield, that's the real win to me because you're going to be able to get a consistent six to seven yards right there, um, and you're going to be able to get a nice little rack catch, get up for about four to five to six yards, even on a bad day. Now, what that's going to force the defense to do is it's going to force the defense to have to adjust. They're going to have to either come down and do maybe hard flat. So you might get something like this look right here where now he's going to go to the flat route and you'll you'll know it by the by the turn of the corner does the corner go down or up and so like on cover um, for example on cover four what you'll see here is watch that corner is going to turn right there and that's where we throw it as soon as the corner makes that shift makes that tell where he's going to go that's when you're going to make that pass lead so if you can look at this here he's going to turn up and then I can hit the flat route, and you see there are a good nine yards um, that I'm able to get. And so, you know, you just want to master these reads. It's a, it's a simple two-man read. And when you run it on both sides of the field, it can actually be very, very effective because they can't really do um, they can't really do a whole lot of, about it. Now, I do want to talk specifically about curl routes for just a second, and this is one reason why I think curl flats is so powerful. With the with the zone drops, and specifically the way that um, these curl flat zones play, what you're going to find is there is actually a window to pass lead these curl flats um, or these curl routes inside of the uh, purple zone. Now, the way to do this is to bring Devontae Adams kind of into the uh, on, an, on an inside breaking curl route like the one from Curl Wheel uh, in the Arizona Cardinals offensive ebook. But another way that you can do it is let's just say they're running a standard curl curl route. You see that they're going to drop back, and you see that the defender is going to step in front of him. Well, he's only going to step in front of him once he kind of brings himself to full awareness of what's happening. And so if you work on your timing with this route right here, when he goes to the inside – um, or when when the when the corner kind of shades to the outside because they're, the flats are going to basically pull them to the outside, you're going to have a short little window right there that you're going to be able to complete that ball. 
if you low pass and pass lead that inside, oftentimes that will be a nice passing lane that your quarterback can actually complete these curl routes against some of the better defenses. Now, I don't recommend it. I recommend just making the read between curl to flat, but it is an option um, that I have noticed does work, especially on like deep inverted um, curl routes. But you'll see um, see how he kind of sits and, and, and waits like that. Now, one, one thing they're going to do uh, against you maybe is run some cover three cloud. So cover three cloud would be like they're running one coverage on one side and another coverage on the other side. That's where I, I come back and say I really like running curl flats as just a basic concept on both sides of the field because it really forces their defense to play a, an, uh, a coverage with integrity. They can't roll coverage to one side or the other because you're going to attack them in a balanced way on both sides of their formation. You see right there, that's Tampa 2, and we're able to – what I like about those flat routes is they just kind of sit this year. They just kind of allow you to take the underneath, take the underneath, take the underneath. And most of the time, guys, most of the time they're going to give you the underneath. The defense is going to be okay with you taking a good five to seven yards but down in the red zone or in key short yardage um, positions they are going to try to go with the hard flat to take those quick flats away and you're going to be having wide open passing lanes to be able to to throw this ball now one other thing i did want to cover real quick before i take off is zone drops so zone drops with this um with this specific coverage we're going to set our uh, flats to 5 yards and our curl flats to 25 yards or 20 yards. This is very common for people. It's a very common thing for them to set their drops uh, in this way because it's going to help them in man-to-man -man coverage. Well, what's going to happen, I want to show you two things that's going to happen when they do this. Um, it's going to change everything for your offense, specifically as it applies to the curl, defending the core curl flat concept. And one of my favorite plays is this Y post, as you see, because it's got that inverted, uh, inverted curl route. And I'll show you why that's significant in just a second. But we're going to go over curl flats. Again, the basic core foundational concept of having a curl route and a flat route that is what we're looking at right here. And what you'll see is when they, when, they zone, when they do their zone drops at 20 yards, they are really sacrificing um, a lot of underneath coverage. There's really not, um, it's really, really not a good way to defend this. Um, there's just not going to be a great opportunity for them to make plays. What you'll see here is if I were to run the meta coverage, which is to take both safeties, put them in purple zones, these curls and these hitches um, and these flat routes, see how the flat route's going to pull that purple zone and there's going to be a nice little basket, nice little point to be able to hit Devontae Adams. They're going to have to lower those curl flat purple zones, which is then going to allow you to throw, um, to throw crossing routes and deep post routes. This is how you, know, you use different routes to be able to open up different windows of the field. Now, what if they were to play flat zones, right? Well, flat zones, you're going to see, it's going to be very clear, the curl flat concept, the core uh, nuts and bolts of the curl flat concept is still going to apply. They're, they're going to basically, if they, run if they run the flat zones, then you're going to see that they're going to very obviously take the underneath flat route, which is going to leave that curl route open for about 10 to 15 yards. What they're going to have to do is they're going to have to play a very, very specific type of defense like a Mabel coverage. Well, if they play Mabel coverage, which I'm playing on the right, right side of the screen here, you'll see that this is still going to struggle because of the zone drops. Okay, because of the zone drops. Now, there's specific zone drops that they can use that will help guard this concept, but this, those specific zone drops will literally be, they would have to put their curl flats, I believe, at 10 yards. And when you put your curl flats and your flats at 5 slash 10 yards, you are really going to leave yourself vulnerable um, in the back end of your defense for crossing routes and corner routes and post routes. Um, they're just not going to be able to guard everything. Uh, so you'll see here this curl to Devontae Adams. Now, if I tried to put my safeties in curl flats at 10 yards, um, you're going to see they probably will play this, but they might. The flat zone will sometimes pull them, even though they're shaded at 10 yards. And see here, he does play it. Now, what that has allowed, though, it has allowed every other play in my arsenal to be able to come become viable. Because if they run something like that, 
then what you're going to see is these deep post routes and these deep crossing routes they're not going to be able to be defended by a 10 yard uh, a 10 yard curl flat they're going to, they're not going to get they're not going to get in the right positioning so you're going to be able to easily complete it and then one thing i did want to touch on real quick with y post um, what you'll see on this is because it's an inverted post or curl route um, this this route to adams is an inverted curl route you'll see that he's going to get in a position where the purple can't really defend him and of course uh, the purple does fit in perfectly here. Uh, I think it had to do a little bit with the press animation. But you'll see most of the time, purple zones won't defend that route um, because he's going to come at an angle and he's going to come up and sit in the zone right there just like that. See, that, see how the purple zones don't defend that? That's another thing that you can um, add into your arsenal with this idea of curl flat concept. And when you put everything together, you come away with a really, really solid little offense and a really, really solid route that's going to be a nice yard gainer, very consistent. So I just wanted to break this down. I had not seen a lot of people talk a lot about curl flats this year. I'm running a lot of curl flats personally, and I'm having a lot of success with it. So I just wanted to share this with you guys if you haven't already tested this out. Flat routes are good this year, especially if they blitz, especially if you can hit them quick. And from five wide from spread, this makes it a very viable offense and a very viable option for you because of the fact that they're going to have to come down to five yard flat zones uh, and 10 yard curl flat zones to be able to defend it. And if they, if they, you know, if they do that, they're going to leave themselves very, very vulnerable on the back end. So, you know, just wanted to share that with you. And real quick, before I take off, I wanted to let you know about a new thing I'm doing here at the channel. And that is um, an exclusive tip of the week. An exclusive tip of the week is a very in-depth um, kind of summary of what I've learned in Madden this week uh, through some type of uh, specific tip that I would give away to you. Um, but the only way that you can receive this tip is through texting uh, in. So all you have to do is send a personal text message to me. My number is 812 216-3644. My number is also in the description of this video. Um, and just let me know that you want to receive the, the, the tip. You can also ask your questions. If you have any Madden specific questions, I would love to be able to talk with you a little bit more about the game. Um, so you can do that. But that way, every single week, um, I will be sending out an exclusive tip of the week. Typically what I'll probably start doing is I want to send those out on either Sundays or Mondays because I want to be able to really dive into the whole weekend league and kind of give a really good summary of what we learned um, this week. So probably on Mondays. But anyways, I just want to thank you guys so much for your time. And this video is going to go on the channel uh, here in a couple hours. But what I want you to know is that we are going to be streaming at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time tonight. So if you want to come hang out, more than welcome to do that. Um, and I also have a Discord if you want to jump in there. That link is in the description. If you have any questions about what that is, just shoot me a text and I can answer those as well. We'll see you tonight on the stream.